welcome back to the good life we are going to be investigating burley's farm today i actually have stamina which is so nice i actually have a full stamina bar because i don't have all these horrible status effects although i am pretty much like completely broke in this game i have like no money at all but it's fine at least we're able to like run like properly now which is great and i'm sort of slowly getting through the status effects so that's really cool i'm sure we'll get more money from doing like quests and stuff so it's fine welcome to burley's farm what can i do for you love uh hey there i came to ask you some questions about you and your farm if you don't mind an ordinary old farm like mine you must have some pretty interesting taste it may not be as ordinary as you think now about that logo of yours blah 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 oh yeah because the um the murderer is said to have the Burley Farm logo, right? So that's why we're investigating. Ah, so that's what this is about, is it? This logo, or crest rather, is actually something that's been passed down in Rainy Woods for some time now. Apparently it was first used by the nobles who lived in the old castle on the lake. After a while, the crest started being used on any and all products that met their standards. Kind of like a seal of quality? That's right, but apparently the regulations were rather lenient. So there are other people who use the crest besides you? Quite a few actually. It's a respected seal of approval even now, despite the nobles' family line falling apart a long, long while ago. You're welcome to go and see my sheep for yourself if you like. Oh, and make sure you try it to and make sure you try a sip of our fresh sheep's milk too. Sheep milk? That seems I wonder what that tastes like. <laughs> like really? Alright, maybe later. By the way, yeah? You wouldn't happen to be able to run over 320 kilometers an hour, would you? Huh? Over 320 an hour? You're, you're a comedian. I may be pretty strong, love, but there's no way you'll see me running that fast. <laughs> I wish, right? That'd be amazing. You'd be like, Bolt. Phew, that was a good one. I thought I was going to die laughing. 320 kilometers an hour. <laughs> this interview sure was fun. You can come back here again. I like her. She seems fun. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I figured she'd say that. Honestly, I don't really buy it myself. But at least I won't be leaving empty handed. Nobles lived in the old castle on the lake. That's what she said, right? If there's one thing I know about old castles is that they've usually got treasure hidden inside them. Ha <laughs> ha. Looks like Lady Luck's finally on my side for once. I'm gonna nab that treasure and pay off my entire debt in one fell swoop. Yeah! I think that's cheating, Naomi. <laughs> Hell yeah, here I come, ancient castle, your treasures all mine. You won't find anything but dusty old artifacts, I'm telling ya. <laughs> Alright, Route A, Event Horizon. This is the one I probably should have started with, but I am silly and went in a weird, weird way. <laughs> but that's okay. It means that when we go back to Route C, we'd have already done a huge chunk of it. So I guess that's not too bad. Alright, so... We could maybe take some pictures or something. Some piggies. I could have taken a better one than that, to be honest. But it's fine. There you go. That's a little better. <laughs> and a chicken. Let's take a nice picture. Where are you going? I'm trying to take... Why do they never keep still when I'm trying to... Whatever. That'll do. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I got a nice picture. Are these Suffolk sheep? No, they're not. They're something else. Okay take a picture of these as well because why not just because we can right so i'm looking for like vacation items as well so i'm kind of like keeping my eyes peeled for those because of course we're looking for like a beach ball and like some other bits and pieces that we need for mr e or whoever he is so uh yeah uh, i know that you're supposed to pay the toll to get over this fence here but is it possible to just like cheese it and just like jump over? Oh my god, you can. <laughs> Why would you pay the toll if you can just jump over the wall as a cat? I wonder how many people like actually realized that you could do that because I didn't actually realize um, at first. So yeah, that's kind of kind of funny. Some different sheeps up here. How many different like breeds of sheep are in this game? Like damn, there's quite a lot watch out for the bees but i think we're okay um so i've only just noticed but do you see the um 
there's like a little sort of um, little rating underneath my character's portrait. There's a thing that says 83% and I think that's actually my health meter. So I wasn't paying attention to that before and I think that's why I caught a cold and I got ill. So I think I need to make sure that I keep that topped up because once it gets to a certain point, I think my character will get ill and I don't want that because it just costs so much money to get her fixed again. So I'm going to make sure that that doesn't happen again because <laughs> that really sucked you know gosh this is quite a, a walk but I think we're getting there slowly all right where am I now okay there's a shrine down here as well so of course we're going to activate this little thing here all right let's make an offering uh what <gasps> I don't have enough money oh my gosh <laughs> I am so poor. Oh no, that sucks. <laughs> well, that's just how it goes sometimes, I guess. All right, this is locked, isn't it? Oh boy, how are we going to get in here then? Going to have to scale the walls again. Greetings. Is something the matter, madam? Who is Samuel? Oh my god, that's not what I was expecting. It's a sheep man. <laughs> what on earth is that? <laughs> this game's just getting weirder and weirder. Whoa, you scared me. Who the hell are you? No, you should be asking, what the hell are you? <laughs> Samuel S. Bergman, madam. Wandering butler extraordinaire. Wandering butler? I've never heard of that profession. Oh, it's a rather popular one in these parts. Refined over decades and decades of tradition, I might add. Right, well, what do you want, Mr. Wandering Butler? I saw you were attempting to enter the Bloodwoods property, so I thought it proper to reach out to you. Oh, so this is private property? Of course. Indeed, the whole area, I'm afraid, but if you wish to enter for a noble reason, I have the authority to grant you passage. Seriously? Okay, perfect, then we're all set. Don't tell him about the treasure. <laughs> that might be a good idea. Excellent. Then we may begin with your trials at once. From this point forward, madam, you are to become a knight of rainy woods. Okay. Oh, there's no need to overthink it. All that is required is that you complete the three trials for me. Complete them and then you will become a genuine knight of rainy woods. Thus, gaining free passage to this property at your leisure. That does sound pretty easy. All right, hurry up and do the three trials or whatever. Okay, how simple and to the point you are. Yeah, it's one of my best traits. Right then, without further ado, let's begin the first trial. Any good knights must first learn how to properly ride a sheep. Yes, <laughs> not a horse, a sheep. <laughs> well, why not? The first step is... The first step to becoming a proper knight is to encounter a proper sheep. Please take this pan flute. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Sheep flute. A flute that can reach the heart of any sheep. It will let me tame sheep and summon them back to me later. That sounds amazing. Use it to tame the sheep that you fancy most. Mount it, then ride it back to me here, please. Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting. I've been looking forward to this ever since I found out that you could actually, like, ride sheep. So... <laughs> I'm really excited for this. This should be funny. Uh, wild sheep are vicious. In order to tame one, you need to lower its obstinance. Transform into a dog, then bark up a storm until the sheep's obstinance drops low enough. Oh, that's the yellow bar. Okay. Once the sheep has lost enough of its obstinance, all you need to do is move in close and tame it. And then you can start riding it. Okay. Well, let's just go for this one because it's like the closest one to me. So let's go for it. This <laughs> should be really fun, actually. All right. I'm ready. Let's go, little sheepo. It's actually really cute as well. All right, let's uh, damage him a little bit more. Oh my gosh, it's kind of hard. The combat in this game kind of sucks, <laughs> if I'm being honest. It's kind of difficult to actually, like, hit the actual darn sheep in this game. All right, oh, gosh, no, nearly hit me. I got away, though, so it's good. Okay, okay, we're fine. We got this. Is there an easier way to, uh, like attack things in this game i don't know the yellow bar doesn't seem to be going down so i feel like i'm damaging it more than more than anything else so uh i don't know where did it go uh what oh 
You're over there? Like what? What did you do? Are you a different sheep? I'm so confused. I don't even know. Wait, does this... Do I have to bark at it? Oh, we have to bark at it. I know we're actually supposed to attack it. Oh, that's what it said. That's what it meant by bark up a storm. I see. So we're just scaring it, apparently. All right, there we go. And then tame. Do I tame it with the dog? Wait, what? <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, well, yay. It worked. Yeah, I've got a sheep. Yeah, <laughs> This is so weird. I love it. Okay, then. Okay, sheep man. I got a sheep. <laughs> That's really annoying that she keeps going, Yeah, baby. <laughs> is she going to do that every time? So, Mr. Butler, what do you think? Pretty nice sheep, ain't it? Marvellous work, madam. Now, for the second trial, you must master the art of sheepmanship. A must for any proper knight. Sheepmanship. Hey, that sounds pretty cool. Child's play for any true knights, mind you. The more progress you make, the cooler a knight you shall become. Seriously? Hell yeah, I feel super motivated now. Now, madam, please mount your fluffy steed. <laughs> then charge it into that barrel over there with a tremendous coup de ball or headbutt. Yeah, That's so annoying, Naomi. Please don't do that. One sheep charge coming up. Headbutt barrels to destroy them, which may sometimes cause various items to fall out. Okay, shall we begin? Charge your sheep into yeah, the barrel. Baby. Okay, oh my god, Naomi, please stop. <laughs> Most annoying thing ever. <laughs> okay, uh, so you can press RB to perform a sheep charge. Okay, D please destroy things safely so that you don't injure other people or animals. Um, okay, I'll try. <laughs> Okay, yeah, the only annoying thing is that she constantly shouts, Yeah, baby, every time you press the right bumper. So, yeah, that's going to get really annoying really quickly. It's already annoying me, so, um, yeah, <laughs> that's going to be annoying. I don't think you can turn that off either, sadly. But there we go. We did it. Awesome. Brilliant work. Now, let us proceed with the third trial. These are sure going fast. Simply matching the speed to the speed of the times, madam. Now currently, your steed is as wild as wild can be. Of course, you are free to continue riding it until you have no further use of it, upon which it will flee. But nary a wild steed could ever stand up to the likes of a personal steed or a, minity, or a military steed. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, since long ago, cats have been taken a broad sea vessels while canines and horses have been used in battle it was only a matter of time before humans acquired the wisdom necessary to incorporate sheep into battle as well sheepmanship sounds like a really deep art <laughs> first let's have you entrust one of your sheep to burley farm once entrusted, you may call the sheep back out at any time. Oh my god, it's like a garage. It's like GTA, but <laughs> you store them in the farm instead. Care for your sheep correctly, and it will surely become one of your most trusted companions. Okay, I'll give it a try. Do I get to brush my sheep too? They should let me. I think we should be able to brush it too. Okay, if you enter the pasture at Burley's farm while riding a sheep, you'll be able to send it to the farm. Any sheep you send to the farm will remain yours, and you can always register a new sheep you're riding at any time. However, the barn can only house so many sheep, so be careful. When you're ready to mount your steed, simply press down on the d-pad. Okay. Lonette will shear your sheep periodically if you ask her to, which is way faster than trimming each one by hand. Can I do that? I want to trim one by hand. I want to do that. That would be so cool. Um, so to Burley's farm, right? So let's go and let's go and do that. It's so cute the way it just like bounces and like hobbles home. <laughs> It's so adorable. I don't want to press the right bumper because she'll just go, Yeah, baby! <laughs> and I don't want to hear her do that again. <laughs> it drives me absolutely bonkers. Alright, how far is it? It's not that far, I guess. Oh, wait, am I going to have to pay the toll? Because I didn't pay it last time. Can this thing jump? Like, I don't know. I don't think it can. Can I ram the gate? Shall I try it? 
No. Aw, oh, man. I'm gonna have to pay the toll to get past with my sheep. That's annoying. You can just jump over it with the, like, cats and stuff. So, <gasps> I don't have enough money. Oh, my God. What am I gonna do? Is there, like, another way? Oh, I'm gonna have to go the long way. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh no, kill me now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make a little stop at my house real quick. I hope my sheep doesn't like disappear or something, but my health is getting a little bit low. I'm on like 50% on my health and I'm scared that I'm gonna catch a cold and it costs so much money to sort that out, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook up some um, salad because this gives you health back. So I'm gonna do that. So we don't end up getting a cold because that would suck. So let's try this. Okay, that put me up by 10%. So uh, yeah, we're going to have to make a couple of these, I think. Because the rain constantly decreases your health meter. And it really is annoying, but it's alright. We got plenty of... Um, you know, we can make plenty of these, so we're fine. Luckily, I've been, like, planting a lot of stuff, so we're actually fine to increase this again. I think I can just do, like, two more should probably do it, actually. I got quite a lot of tomatoes and quite a lot of cucumbers, so we got this. All right, let's chomp that down as well. We're almost, like, full, so that's great. Um, I'm just going to fill my hunger a little bit as well. I know that you can, like, put food in your inventory and kind of, like, take it with you, but I never do for some reason. I guess I just don't have money to buy anything right now, to be honest with you, but that's okay. I'm going to see if there's anything I can upload just to, like, you know, get this going or something. I probably don't have, like, any, like, keywords or anything, but, you know, this might help us, like, just a little bit. So I'm just going to upload anything that I've got there we go just gonna leave that going for, for now and hopefully that will accumulate some money for us but yeah uh, we're on like 99% now and 93% so that's good oh my sheep's gone <laughs> Oh, this game. <laughs> I am so cursed. Okay, I've brought a sheep back. Thank God. I finally got there in the end. <laughs> um, it was worth it um, to put the extra effort in because we're going to be able to keep this one. Hey up, love. Welcome to Burley's farm. Got room for another sheep? This butler guy told me to bring one to you. Oh, Samuel, sure. I can keep your sheep here for you. You know him? Everyone knows each other around here. In fact, you'd be hard pressed to find anyone whose business we didn't know. So basically, your typical backwards town, I should have known. <laughs> this is very true, right? Uh, the smaller the town, um, the easier it is to find out information. You actually get to name it? Uh, springtime of youth, skull junk, not a lost lamb. I uh, keep thinking. Let's have a look. <laughs> this is Underground Idol. Roach. Oh, Roach from like Witcher. That's so cool. That's there. Let's see. Electric Sheep 2.0. <laughs> Sweater. I love that. Christmas Dinner. Oh my gosh. What are these names? They're all just like stupid funny names. Domino. What? Okay. Let's keep looking. Tipsy Charlie. A uh, Hairballer. King of Kent. <laughs> Oh my god, so many weird, weird names. Cowlick, Mr. Teabag, <laughs> great name. Matrix, Sleepy Sleepy. How much can you scroll? Oh my gosh, it's like giving me so many. I want Super Moon, I like that. Super Moon, the sheep. <laughs> Very nice. Your sheep is safe and sound here, love, so feel free to tend to it and take it back out whenever you like. If you'd like to shear it yourself, just head on over to the pasture. Oh yeah, I really want to do that. Here, take these sheep clippers and sheep brush with you. Call him a gift from me. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, these all let me shear sheep whenever I want. So I just got to be careful so I don't hurt the little fluff balls, okay? And this will let me brush my sheep. Okay, cool. You can try brushing them too if you want. Okay, but are you sure it's okay to let an amateur shear a sheep? 
Oh, it won't be easy, but I'm sure you'll do fine with a touch of elbow grease and love, of course. Now go on and get busy. Okay, let's do this. I'm ready. Let's go. Approach a sheep and brush it with the sheep brush in order to boost its fluffiness. <laughs> you can also increase a sheep's handling by riding it a lot. As for increasing power, all you need to do is charge into a ton of boxes and barrels. And you can also shear your sheep. Okay, the sheep hair you collect can be used in a very in various ways or you can sell it for money okay and don't forget to thank your sheep for all their blessings <laughs> that's super cute i really love how you can do that all right let's do it let me let me just brush my sheep already i want to do it i think it would be super cute all right here we go super moon let's have a look at you Okay, so it's a two star apparently. Fluffiness is zero, power is zero, and handiness. I wonder what this like does when you like increase the level of them. All right, let's brush you then, I guess. What should I do? Oh, you don't get to take part. It's just like a little little cutscene thing. Ah, I was hoping I get to like take part in it or something. That would have been cool. But uh, well, there there we have it. <laughs> The sheep has well and truly been sheared, so that's nice. Okay, excellent work, madam. With this, you have completed the minimum necessary to become a knight of rainy woods. So I can finally head into the blood woods land now? Now, now, madam, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves here. Why not? I completed the three trials, didn't I? It pains me to say this, but your current attire leaves much to be desired. What? Hey, these may be off the rack, but they're still brand names. In order to enter Bloodwood's property, you need to adorn yourself in chic formal dress. Ugh, hearing the word formal just, make, just made my stomach hurt. At least we're going to get some new clothes. It's been a while, so yeah, that's going to be fun. Besides, I thought that the Bloodwood's family fell to ruin a long time ago. Who's going to care what kind of clothes I wear? Fell to ruin? Poppycock. The Bloodwoods noble line still reigns all of Rainy Woods. Really? Oh wait, you mean that Rudman White's a descendant of the Bloodwoods? Preposterous. That nouveau rich would never be fit to bear the Bloodwood name. Maybe the sheep man is. Yeesh, relax man. Anyway, I don't care, just as long as I can get inside that castle. Now hurry up and tell me what I need to do. There is a wonderful clothing shop in Rainy Woods called Fancy and Bunny. Perhaps asking Lady Yeats to, pre to prepare you garments fit for the Bloodwoods would be the wisest course of actions. Okay, we'll head straight there. I got no money though. Like, <laughs> will she give it to me for free? <laughs> I doubt it, right? I don't know. It's like part of the main story, so... I might get it for free, maybe. <laughs> let's hope, because I literally have like no money at all. Oh my gosh, let's uh, let's call my sheep and get a ride. Here comes the sheep. That's so cool that that like happened. Oh, oh sorry, <laughs> I headbutted the wall. <laughs> My poor sheep just went face first into the wall. <laughs> I feel a little bit bad, but not that bad. <laughs> Maybe he deserved it. <laughs> okay, we're nearly there. So, um, uh, I think it's closed. So, oops, <laughs> going into everything. Oh no. Okay, I think actually ramming uses stamina in this game actually it's so easy to like knock into things in this game all right so we're gonna leave this little sheepo here and we're gonna go to bed because it's like three o'clock in the morning and none of the stores are open right now so yeah we're just gonna have to leave it a little bit i think okay let's go for like nine hours like that should be more than enough i think for the store to to open up so yeah hopefully it's not raining tomorrow as well because i keep losing health and it's been really bad and like i already need to eat more salad because i'm just losing so much so yeah i don't want to get ill because i literally can't afford anything in this game right now so I'm stuck. i need to be very careful very very careful <laughs> I'm so silly. I like totally messed up with my uh, status conditions from the demo. All right, here we go. That's good. That's good. So let's have some pheasant. I only have one, but 
It's okay. This is a brand new dish. I don't think we've ever had this one before. So let's eat that one up. There we go. That helped a lot. Let's have some random salad. We mixed it up with like a different dish. So we should be okay with this. All right. There we go. 96%. That's really good. Keep us topped up and everything. So yeah, I think that's pretty decent right now. Um, I guess I'm just gonna upload these photos just because I want to get money and we're not getting anything at this rate. So I'm just gonna upload everything I've got and deposit this because at least then I've like got something because I'm literally like so broke right now. So <laughs> it's better than nothing, right? Uh, please don't be raining. Ah, oh, it's a nice sunny day and I don't... Oh wow, Supermoon is just like chilling out here. <laughs> Just a chilling and just, you know, I like how he like waited for me. The other one just disappeared. So it's nice that my sheepo is waiting for me today. I gotta do some more like gardening work as well because all my stuff has finished planting and we need it to cook up dishes. And um, it's actually way more important than I thought it was. Like dishes are super important in this game to, you know, keep your character in tip top condition. So yeah, I have to make sure that I keep up with this. Oh my gosh, so many weird seeds. Okay, I'm gonna plant something here. What do I have? 49 weird seeds, that's crazy. That's crazy talk. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't think I'm ever going to run out of these weird seeds because they keep growing into sunflowers and then I just keep getting more of them. So like, I kind of feel like I'm just going to have like a constant supply of these actually. Okay, all my photos have been uploaded. So that's great. So hopefully that will help us out a little bit. I'm kind of sad that I haven't really had like any like money from the quests yet i'm just gonna change to plants that's so much easier to see what i need because i'm constantly like scrolling through all my items so, so be easier to just go to plants like that that's a lot faster actually although you still have to like kind of scroll a little bit but it's not that bad it's not as bad so yeah it's a little faster so that's great okay i got some more seeds here let's plant these up i know this takes a little while but I've got to do it. I got to make sure that I still got stuff growing. So yeah, I have to keep up with this. Um, but it's not that bad. Okay, let's plant something over here. I got some of these mint seeds. What were those? Could I plant those? I'm not even sure what those were, but let's have a look. Can I plant these? Oh, coriander seeds. Okay, nice. Maybe we can get something with that. All I've got left now is weird seeds. So, so I'm just going to plant all these up and hopefully we'll get something great. All right, here we go. From this angle, that owl just like, just looks like a giant turd. <laughs> <laughs> it really does <laughs> oh my gosh because of course we're only seeing it from the back i like how the sheep just keeps wobbling its booty <laughs> bless him it's like he's got an itchy butt or something <laughs> poor little guy <laughs> maybe he dropped that owl over there <laughs> maybe maybe that's what happened okay there we go i think we're done i think that's everything planted so that's great uh, what? Why do people... Oh, I need to shower. Oh, no. Let's go and, uh, let's go and take a shower. Um, that would be great. I feel like it's a, like, really high maintenance to look after your character in this game. I could see people getting annoyed with the amount of maintenance that you have to give Naomi. I kind of like it because it makes it feel more like a, like, life sim, um, sort of, with these little additions and stuff. And you have to actually, like, keep your upkeep up and it's not just like in the game for the sake of it and it actually has a purpose for being in the game and I like that but I could see some people like getting fed up with always constantly having to walk back to your house and you know fix your character up and stuff like I can see that being a bit annoying especially like further on down the line um okay all right let's go and um get some new clothes let's get some new threads that'd be amazing all right, there we go. What was that little jump about? <laughs> I have no idea what that was about, but okay. <laughs> it was kind of cute at the same time. 
<laughs> I liked it. Okay. Ooh. Isn't this, um, yeah, this is, this is like a good photo to upload. Like a really good photo to upload. I'm going to take pictures of like loads of stuff here because all this stuff is like gonna, gonna help us like with earning money. So hell yeah, I'm taking pictures of all of this stuff. How about any of this? Any of this count? No? Okay, that's it. All right, I have to upload those soon. What are you waiting for? You need something, right? Uh, I need some clothes. You awake? What do you want? It's a bit of a long story. All right, let's hope we get freebies. That'd be nice. Uh, cheek formal dress, huh? You should just wear a dress then. Oh, but you probably could pull off a tuxedo too. I reckon she would look good in a tuxedo, actually. Well, that's the thing. I'm not sure what sort of outfit would be most appropriate. I'm... I think I need something more old, decrepit, castle <laughs> Am I supposed to know what kind of clothes the Blackwoods like? Probably the kind of stuff you see on Downton Abbey, right? I've never watched that, actually. I think that's a show. Oh, oh, this is for the Bloodwoods? What? What's that face mean? Oh, nothing. Just forget I said anything. Hmm, what about a dress with a ruff? That would probably be the smartest choice for where you're heading. Oh my god, like, that's really back in, like, the old times, like, with the ruffs and Victorian times, right? I'm just an amateur here, so I'll trust the pro on this one. If you say so, not that it's any of my business. I'm not the one who's going to be wearing it. Is it that bad? The only problem is I'm going to need some special materials. Oh no, I knew it was too good to be true. Two pieces of wood felt, two gold nuggets and glass beads and some liquid Seriously? vitae. Oh god, yeah, that's a pain. It's been a while since I got in such a large order. I'll give you a bulk order discount. If your responsibility to gather up it's your responsibility to gather up the materials, though. Ugh, rocks, sheep, and weird liquid. Just leave it to me. Oh boy. Do I have any of those? Like, I've got no idea if I have any of those, to be honest. Uh, no, I'm missing a lot. A lot. Oh boy. Where do you get all these items from? I've got no idea. Uh, yeah, there is a lot here, but I'm so broke that I can't afford anything. I guess you only came here because you wanted to see me. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so I got one of the things. Does it like say any tips in the thing? Uh, there's like no tips for how to find these things. Darn it. That's gonna be a bit of a pain in the butt to find all these ingredients. Why does this game always have to be so complicated? Where do I get all those things from? I've got no idea. Where would you get a golden nugget from? Oh, hold on. It's listed. Oh, cool. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, God. Otherwise, I'd be like, oh, no. I'd never know how to find them. Otherwise, I'm glad it kind of, like, gives you little icons to tell you, like, where to go. Because otherwise, I would be very lost. So, I'm glad. Oh, it's a side quest. Um, I need materials, I think. Uh, I need gold nuggets and glass beads. I already have the beads. Thou wouldest make me a mundane merchant. I dabble not in poultry sundries. Seriously? I am a builder. Be gone. Okay, where can I get them? Gold nuggets can be excavated from caves and quarries. Ooh. Trudge west from town and center along the hotel road and it shall lead to the West Kirk Cave. Turn north at the path's fork and you shall instead guide thyself to Blen Carrick Quarry. I prithee purchase a pickaxe from me. I already have one actually. I purchased one in the demo and I had no idea what it was for. <laughs> okay, I guess you couldn't use it in the demo. Glass beads, I already got those. We don't need to worry about glass beads actually. Okay, I think he's got a side quest as well. So I'd like to pick that up whilst I'm here. All right, um, are, there, are, there, are you satiated with your house? It's better than living in a rabbit hutch, I guess. Um, okay, if you were to show continued patronage to my business, I could remodel your house. That'd be awesome. How much will it set me back? Okay, um, an estimate would be appropriate. You must go and procure these materials. Oh no, more materials. 
<laughs> oh my god. I've got to do it from, you got to do excavation stuff to, to get that as well. That's cool that you can upgrade your house. Like, that's not something I was expecting to be able to do. So, that's actually really cool, actually. Okay, so I'm guessing the sheep fur would be from Burley Farm. I guess that makes sense, right? That makes a whole bunch of sense. So, that's cool. Okay, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and upload these photos because... I'm assuming that we're going to need some money to buy some of these materials. I'm assuming that some of them are going to like cost money. So I think it would be best to just quickly upload these because I got some pretty good photos when I went into that shop. And I think a lot of them will be like trending photos and will help us out quite a lot actually. So yeah, let's definitely upload these. Let's do that. That'd be great. All right. We're going to do all of them. Um, probably it should be enough to just upload them and then just like leave them so I think I've got five and you can do five at a time I think all right let's upload that one as well all right there we go so I got five going at a time okay cool oh my god that one got oh, look how many that got that got so much hell yeah give me all that money I guess that was like a special photo maybe I should have uploaded that one like way before oh my god there's so much look at all the income oh yeah give me all that I need it so bad so I'm so glad that I got something at the very least I was so poor I was so unbelievably poor so I'm happy that I got that that is awesome okay so I'm gonna go get that money out for you know times when we need it of course I still have some bad status effects but they're not really affecting me like that badly so I'm not really like that bothered about them but um you know I will get rid of them eventually definitely so we'll, we'll definitely do that at some point my sheep is still over there <laughs> okay let's uh withdraw all the cash there we go I've actually got a bit of money <laughs> yay all right so where is this cave let's see if we can find this cave like that would be really cool to to find that's the farm that's the witch's house but where's actually the cave though oh here west kirk cave it's not marked on the map but i'm pretty sure that that's what it is i think the best thing to do would be to go to a the nearest um you know shrine i think that would be the best thing to do i'm gonna get on my sheep where's my sheep there's my sheep <laughs> there you are patiently waiting for me i like that there's like different music when you get on your sheep as well is it this way i want to go yeah this way will do we should be able to go from this way all right let's do a charge charge up all the way let's go it's kind of cute being able to like just ride this little sheep i think it's really cute actually it's really awesome all right and then we want to go up this way to this shrine so that we can of course fast travel i know it's annoying listening to her go yeah baby i'm sure it makes her go faster though all right uh, i'm gonna do the oracle see if i can get something yay we've got some extra cash which is great all righty so let's see if i can teleport to another shrine um, I want to get as close to this excavation as possible. So I'm going to go to this one here. I have to pay? What? It's kind of sucky. <laughs> I was hoping I could do it for free. <laughs> that kind of sucks a bit. But it's alright. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so let's call my sheep back. Where are you, sheepo? There you are. Here comes a sheepo. Let's do this. Okay, so we want to go this way, I think. Yes, this way. And want to head up to there. I might be able to just like cut straight across. What do you think? Do you think I could do that? I reckon we could try. Anyway, so that would be great. I'm just going to keep my eyes peeled for anything that we could possibly want for the you know side quests that we've got because i still have a few of those oh should we bang bang into that that barrel do you think we'll get anything for it i don't know if we do but the game said that if we keep bashing into it it'll like increase stuff on our sheep um i don't know if that's something that like is useful for us or not i've got no idea uh, i don't think we can actually cut across so that means i'm gonna have to go all the way around if i'm using the sheep or maybe if I dismount and then change to the cat, 
go over the wall and then call my sheep. Do you think that would work? That might work. Let's try that. <laughs> a little shortcut. Otherwise, it's going to take a long time, right? Um, so I've gone to the wrong, <laughs> gone to the wrong side. <laughs> That's not helpful. <laughs> what am I like? All right, I think it's the other wall. So I think we want to go this way. No, I'm getting disorientated. Uh, is this the way? I think it's this way. Um, okay. Let's call the sheep and go from this angle. I think that would be great. Alright, I'm ready to continue my adventure. It kind of like lags a little bit when you're going into like new zones, but it's not too bad. It could be worse, I think. <laughs> so it's all good. Alright, let's go, Naomi. I am ready for an adventure. Oh man, I hate these walls. I hate that there's so many stupid walls blocking your path. It's so irritating. All right. So now that we can call the sheep though, we could probably still like bypass the gates. If you can just jump over them. I think it depends. Like if it, it might be too high, I think some walls might be like too high. Like this one looks too high for me to climb over. Yeah. So I'm going to have to pay it. Oh man. This goes into the cave. Um, so we need to go this way cost me 10 pound at least it's like there's still the same amount of money so that's good at the very least um so yeah we're gonna go into the cave and get our sheep out here comes a sheepo all right let's go little sheepo let's do this <laughs> let's see if we can excavate i know that i brought the pickaxe so we should be fine to do this because i brought that in the demo so we should be good at least I, I hope I've got it anyway. Come all this way. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I was going to say, no, I come all this way and I don't even have a pickaxe. That would be the worst, but I think we're fine. So that's good. Oh, there's a shrine down here as well, which is excellent. So we won't have to worry about like coming here again. So I can just like use the shrine to come back here for if I need more materials. So that's a fantastic. Okay, let's make the offering. Luckily, I had enough. Oh, I finished the side quest too. All right, let's do this as well. Get some extra monies. Yay, awesome. There's a nice little lake over here. I wonder if there's like anything that we can like take. Can I take pictures of stuff over here? I wonder. Uh, oh, whoa, what's that? I don't even know. I'd take a picture of it. I think it was a bird or something. I don't know. Why is the lake like bright green? <laughs> I have no idea. Wait, these are new animals, I think. Let's see if we can catch some, just because they're like right here, and uh, why not, right? Oh man, I got too close. All right, let's try from here. No, ah, oh, I messed up. <laughs> I thought I could get them. Uh, there's something here. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> They keep escaping me. All right, there we go. I got something. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> awesome. All right, what's that? Coriander seeds. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go inside anyway. There's like a person like waiting outside. I wonder what they are doing. Hello, random dude. What's up? I came all the way out here to live the dream and get rich, but I've only gone and forgotten my feckin' pickaxe. Hey, I could just use my bare hands, but I'm... I can't do that accent, man. <laughs> I think it's meant to be Scottish, isn't it? Or something. Dene wanna to ruin my manicure? Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm not very good with accents. <laughs> I apologize. All right, let's see if we can do some mining of some stone material. See if I can do some more here. It's cool that it's got mining in this game as well. I like that. I like that a lot. It seems like this game has like just a bit of everything. It really does. All right. I'm hoping to get a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh. I could be down here all night. <laughs> um, what am I after? I'm after golden nuggets. I don't know if you like find them or maybe you find like fragments of them. I found bronze nuggets but not golden ones, so sadly, that sucks. Oh, there we go, yay, I got one. I need to find one more, so we'll keep going until we find this one as well. 
that'd be great all right let's see is there like rats in here yeah there's like mouses and rats and stuff oh a diamond oh my gosh do you think you can sell those maybe i can make a ton of money from it or something oh my health is getting low again i need to like feed my character some salads and stuff like that again all right what we got over here let's have a look iron nuggets all right what about this spot maybe we'll get lucky yay i got them all i got all the the nuggets yay so the liquid vita is probably from the um crazy witch lady right so we probably have to go to her right um i would like to warp home seven hours worth of energy oh boy that was a lot of energy <laughs> that's a whole ton of energy but i want to sort my character out because she's kind of that's what that beeping is it's when your health is low so that's what it is i always wondered what that beeping was for now i know so that's cool right i'm gonna have to sort my character out now because she's low on hunger she's low on just pretty much everything so yeah let's make sure that we fix her up that'd be great let's have uh, cocoa toast cocoa spread toast oh that sounds super delicious is the last bread that i've got so sadly i can't make this again afterwards should we take a picture of it let's take a picture mm, yummy all right let's eat this there we go all right she liked that she got super happy <laughs> so that's good a messy salad is that is that good i guess it is <laughs> let's eat that as well all right critical success Let's munch that down. Oh gosh, I keep forgetting you have to hold it. All right, I actually put gave me like a few buffs and stuff, so that was nice. Uh, let's have a jacket potato now. You have to feed her so much sometimes. All right, got a nice jacket potato there. There you go. Filled your belly up a little, not like massively, but a little bit. So that's good all right let's eat this salad as well to lida perfecto and i'm gonna have another jacket potato <laughs> oh my gosh she's just like eating the same things but it's all i got to work with right now so there you go beautiful another salad <laughs> Oh my gosh, gonna be here all night eating stuff at this point. It really takes a lot to fill like all your stamina up. It really does. It takes a real like huge amount. And I'm gonna have another jacket potato to fill that last tiny bit of hunger up. And then I think I'm gonna check to see how like my photos and stuff are doing. I should probably put my health up a bit more because we're only on 50%. So it's not too great to be honest. A <gasps> hundred, a hundred quid in there. Lush. That is beautiful. All right, um, the uh, like hot thing has changed. Um, actually, oh my god, that's on fourteen thousand. I've never seen so many hearts on one picture. Like that's crazy. That's gonna get me so much money. I'm so like gutted I didn't upload that like earlier. <laughs> like silly me. <laughs> so much money now. It's just rolling in. Oh yeah. Shall we upload some pictures of just like whatever I've got? Let's just upload that and that. There you go better than nothing right so that's great i think i'm just gonna finish up um i'm gonna finish up like feeding her salads and then yeah i think that's about it for today we're gonna continue next time though and see if we can track down these remaining items that would be great but thank you so much for for watching i hope you enjoyed i just want to say a huge thank you to all of my patreons and members for supporting the channel i really appreciate that and if you, if you are interested in supporting the channel, there will be a link in the description box below to my Patreon page. Alternatively, you can also click the big join button underneath every video that I create to become a member of the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you next time.